guys, Troy here, and today we're going to be reviewing my custom-made version of Firefly, which is an Autobot, by the way. Um, so here is Firefly in his jet mode, and you know what, it's not so bad, um... Uh, I mean, it's got a couple of issues, like visible head syndrome and all, but still very nicely done on my part. So, if I do say myself, which I do, because I'm the only one in my room, because nobody has the right to come into my room unless they ask. So, <laughs> yeah, there you have that. Um, it's all a small little guy, I mean... I don't know how many bricks this is, but I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial on this because I can, and I upgraded uh, my YouTube channel thingy so I can make uh, videos that are longer than 30 minutes, so, well, longer than 15 minutes, rather. Um, so, yeah, there we have that, and for comparison... Uh, here is the Titan Return, uh, here's the Titan, here's the Titan Mobile, right here. So, here's an extra jet fire. And for other comparisons, here he is with the, uh, worked on, uh, smokestack, and as you can see, he's quite a bit different, uh, I'll just set him off to the side for right now. Uh, he's got a new head, uh, but I took off some panels from the sides. I added some bits, and that's pretty much all I did to him. And, yeah. Now I think about it. So there you have those two together, and they look very similar. So, there you have that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's get down to transformation. Now, I do, I will mention that this guy is quite a doozy, and hello, cat. <laughs> uh, so this guy is a, a bit of a pain in the butt. He's also very fiddly, and he's also very fragile. I mean, you, you can do that with him, and... It will knock stuff out of whack. Or you can just completely throw it on the ground and have bits and pieces and maybe even some broken parts laying around. Uh, so, <laughs> I recommend you don't do that. Still, that's cruel, man. That's cruel, man. That's very, very cruel. So, get to, to get down to transformation. You just want to bring these uh, things up with the wings. And they have that. Now you want to bring the legs back. So they have that. And you want to bring forward these guns and the head. Which was the cockpit, but it's now the head. Uh, so... Uh, you want to fold these back just a little bit. And you want to rotate this all the way around, like that. So, you should end up with this. And, just make sure everything stays together, because, like I said, this guy's kind of fragile. Uh, you want to bring down the legs. First, what you want to do, actually, is you want to fold the thruster back. So... It lays flat like that, so this can't rotate that much, except for it does anyway, which... Uh, so they have that. You want to fold the legs down, and you want to rotate the feet. Like that. So you have his feet all done. And fix the head. Uh, so now you want to rotate the little rudder things back here. Uh, like that. 
and now you want to fold out the arm, the hands, not the arms, the hands, like that, and now you have uh, bring them back like this, and fold these sections in like that. And it will fall apart just like that. That's supposed to happen, people. That's supposed to happen. I'm just kidding. It's not. Uh, just fold the arms down just a little bit. And there you have Firefly in his robot mode. And I like this robot mode. It's very nice until you get over here, which all airplanes have a backpack, so... I guess this counts as his backpack. I mean, yeah, he does stand actually pretty well once you get in balance. And I, he actually stands uh, with no problem. And my camera will not focus on this guy. There we go. But anyway. Uh, so there you have that. And nicely done on my part. Thank you, Troy, for doing this for me. And... I appreciate you, man, and I hope that, I hope there's another Troy that uh, becomes a subscriber, and that he listens to that speech that I just gave, and I hope he becomes inspired to make what I'm making. Uh, but yeah, um, for comparison, here he is with, uh, uh, the, uh, Worked on version of Smokestack. And pretty much the same, but quite a bit of differences. I actually used uh, Weed Whacker's head and gave Weed Whacker a new head, which I'm not revealing and I probably never will reveal. But you can deal with that. Um, so basically, I took Weed Whacker's head, gave Weed Whacker a new head... And I took Smokestack's head and put it on Firefly. But anyway, now you have that. And not much is different besides this guy, except for more parts. But anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. Now let's get started on our tutorial. So I have this guy partially disassembled, and we're going to do this. We're going to do like small sections. But I. Uh, so. You need, uh, you're going to need, uh, two of these pieces right here. I don't care about colors, uh, but I kind of try to color code them. Uh, so you need two of those. You need a clip and a small, uh, one-by-one -one tile, preferably round, but you can do, um, straight too, although it would look weird. You need... Uh, two of these pieces all together and there you have that and you want to take one of these pieces and you want to put three of them here this is an engine piece the gray piece and there is the flame behind it so there you have that but by the way we're going to make this guy into his uh, uh, his Cybertronian jet mode it actually doesn't look that bad, I'm, ju I'm just saying. It doesn't look bad. Uh, so now you want uh, one of these jumper plates and another one of these pieces. And you want to just put it on there like that. Uh, now you want one of these gun pieces. And you want one of these, uh, one of these uh, bad robot arms. I don't know who came up with that, but... Yay! Somebody did something correctly. No, not really. They didn't. They failed at it massively. But anyway... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now for the arms. Uh, you want a 1x4, one a 1x1... One one. Uh, you don't have to have that on there, but... It kind of works the backpack a little bit better. You want one of these clips. And you want 
a ratchet joint, a cheese slope, and one of these clips here. And this is going to go like this, and you want to put it in the proper orientation for this. And that would be... Like this, but it would be easier to do it like that, so we're going to leave it like that. And do the same thing with the other arm. I was going to say, same thing on the other side, but there is no other side, because it's not assembled yet. So there you have that. And you're just going to put these on the bars right there. And you... I... Do not use, like, one of those bars that it has the holders on the ends, because that would not work uh, for robot mode and transformation, and it might look slightly better in uh, jet mode, but don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just gonna... But anyway, there you have that. Uh, um, rotate the feet up. So it looks good. So Firefly can look good. No. Actually, you know what? No, this guy's name is uh, Flightmare. This guy's name is Flightmare. He looks better. And yeah, as Flightmare. He's black. So there you have Flightmare. And... Yeah, this I'm glad I continued my series of the Lego Transformers. And this is an Autobot, but you know what? It doesn't matter because there is no war. They ju they're just pr they're just around for to be with humans and everything like that and everything is cool. Everything's chill. By the way, these uh little things are machine guns. I'm not sure if Flightmare should have them, but uh, a Cybertronian jet should have these guns. And I tried to work the uh, head differently. I mean, you can do this, but that just kind of ruins it. So that's ruining it, ruining it enough. But you know what? It doesn't look too bad. It kind of does look bad, but it doesn't look that bad. And so, yeah, there you have my professional display of Flightmare. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you have any questions or uh, comments, leave them in the comment section. That's why it's called that. And, um, yeah, I plan to make more LEGO Transformers in the future. So be just, uh, tuned in for that, and I will see you in the next episode.